Hey, it's Trip here from the 87th. This video is about the UHF radio backup system in BMS 4.33 in the F-16. Information is current as of update 2. Let's talk about some of the terminology associated with the backup radios. Over on the left side panel, if I get the throttle out of the way, we can see this uh, larger panel here. It's the UHF radio uh, backup control panel. It has a selector here, a rotary, for selecting the different preset channels. It has five selector knobs here for changing the uh, frequency display in the windows. A four position uh, rotary switch, it's a function switch, off, main, both, and ADF. And a three position mode knob. The detents are manual, preset, and guard. Just behind it, below it, an audio one panel. And there are two audio panels here. I get uh, the ECM switch out of the way. You can see that the uh, single row of uh, knobs is the audio two panel, but we're concerned with the four uh, knobs uh, here on the audio one panel. It's the COM1 and the COM2 power switches. They're also volume switches. So COM1 is uh, UHF radio and COM2 is VHF radio. And they each have an associated mode uh, knob. And they're uh, labeled off, squelch, and guard. GD for guard. Back on the auxiliary COM panel, the switch or rotary that we're concerned with is the CNI uh, knob. It looks like it says on there, but it's actually labeled C and I for communication navigation IFF. It's two position switch, up front controls, and backup. So to understand how the backup radios work, uh, let's talk about what these uh, uh, knobs do. The function switch, uh, when you put it in the main position, it enables you to select and uh, transmit and receive on UHF frequencies. When you put it in the both position, in addition to doing that, it enables a standalone guard radio receiver, receiver only, not a transmitter. So it's automatically set to 243.0, which is the UHF guard frequency. Now guard is not preset channel 6, UHF 6, or uh, preset uh, channel 13. Those are totally different. Those are normal UHF frequencies. We use typically use 6 or 13 for uh, communicating with AWACS uh, during a mission at the uh, Falcon Online site when we fly force on force. Uh, the SOP is to use uh, UHF-6 after we've uh, become airborne. Uh, flight switches the flight lead switches the flight from tower over to uniform six. That's 349.0. That is not guard. Guard is uh, a radio that's used strictly for emergency procedures or just critical procedures where a pilot uh, is in distress and needs help. So. In the uh, both position, in a normal airplane, an airplane that's operating normally, the battery switch is uh, on the uh, main power position, and the CNI switch is in upfront controls. If you're flying along and you hear an aircraft call out a mayday call, like Mongo 11 mayday, 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 uh, on guard, how copy, something like that then he's calling you on the guard frequency. Now most likely he's calling you on UHF guard. There is a VHF guard that we'll talk about, but nine times out of 10, uh, he's calling you on UHF guard. So in order for you to answer him, all you need to do is place your COM1 mode switch to the guard position. And what this does is it manually tunes 243.0 in your UHF radio. 
and it disables your uh, standalone guard receiver. Because obviously now you're going to transmit and receive on the main UHF frequency, and you don't want to receive on the standalone guard frequency also, so it just disables that uh, function. So now if you go up to the the uh, upfront controls, you can see that uh, UHF guard is uh, activated here. Let me see what happens if I press COM. Yeah, okay, and COM, it shows you that uh, you're tuned to 243.0. Now notice nothing happened with the, U uh, the VHF. That's uh, still the same. You're still talking to your wingman or whoever on your uh, discrete VHF frequency. But now you have the capability of responding to the airplane that's calling on guard. All right, so we'll put the uh, mode switch back in squelch. Now, if you wanted to talk to him on VH on uh, VHF guard, which is 121.5, which is half of 243.0, so that's an easy way to remember what uh, VHF guard is. You could put the uh, selector on guard. It does the same thing. It automatically tunes the number two radio now to the guard frequency. And you can verify that uh, by hitting the COM2 switch and it shows 121.5. So now you can talk uh, back and forth on VHF guard. But you normally, uh, we don't normally use that, but uh, it's enough to have just a UHF guard uh, function available. But it is there. Now, if there is no distress or anything and you just wanted to talk on guard between two airplanes, uh, both airplanes could just go to the guard position here, and now their number one radio, their UHF radio, is uh, tuned to guard and they can talk happily you know, back and forth. But you don't do that. Guard is reserved for strictly for, uh, like I said, in-flight emergencies. So it's not a common communication channel uh, to be used for uh, anything other than emergency or highly irregular operations. All right, so we'll put that back on uh, the normal position, which is squelch. Okay, if, uh, if you lose an engine, for instance, um, due to fuel starvation or whatever the case may be, um, you're going to lose main generators. You're going to lose the main generator and the standby generator. You'll have uh, lights here on the electrical panel, and the EPU will automatically come on. But when it comes on, uh, the MFDs will go totally blank, both of them, and the DED will become totally blank, so you can't make any entries, you can't see anything on this screen. You will have the HUD information as you see it here, uh, but you won't be able to communicate through the normal channel. So what you need to do in that case is you need to come back to the CNI switch and put that on backup. Now backup enables all these functions on the UHF uh, radio backup control panel. And notice it's the UHF radio backup control panel. There is no VHF backup uh, capability. It's only uh, UHF backup capability. So let me get this uh, throttle out of the way again here. Um, now uh, you have three options here. You can talk on the preset, which you have selected here. And this preset is, uh, relates to the blue frequency list, if uh, you, you have that set through Weapon Delivery Planner. I tried to uh, switch it to the red uh, frequency list, but the frequencies listed here and the corresponding preset values uh, are the blue frequency list. So 06 is, is the... 349.0, which is, uh, like I said, what we normally use for uh, AWACS or MAGIC once we're airborne. So if you wanted to talk, uh, for instance, uh, on the ground after a mission, you've come back and a couple of airplanes are uh, parked in the ramp and uh, you want to shut down your engine and you just want to talk about the mission, you don't want to do it on the tower frequency or you don't want to do it on the uh, AWACS or the magic frequency. You don't want to disturb the other airplanes uh, still out there flying. So you too could come over here to the uh, UHF radio backup control panel, put the CNI switch in backup, 
switch to another preset, for instance, five or seven, and then you could talk uh, back and forth freely. Now that's if you have the uh, knob set to uh, preset. Um, if you want to choose another channel for some reason, a specific channel, you could put it in the manual position and then use the frequency uh, select knobs here to change uh, the frequency to whatever you want to use. And so now when you're in manual and uh, in the backup position, you'll be able to talk on this selected frequency. Normally what this manual uh, position does is it allows you to assign a frequency, a manual UHF frequency, to a preset channel. So if you had 246.0 uh, set in here, you could flip this, uh, it's a cover, just flip this up and underneath there's a little preset button. You press and hold that and it'll assign now 246 to uh, preset channel 5. But we can use it to just talk on any uh, UHF frequency we uh, want to. All right, so what the uh, aircraft in distress is going to do uh, is he, after he does his emergency action things, you know, he flies the airplane, he analyzes whatever the situation is, takes corrective action, he gets everything under control. Now he's going to be calling for help. So. Uh, since he can't uh, do anything through the uh, DED, everything's black up uh, front here, he's going to come over to the uh, CNI switch and put that in backup, and then he's going to put the uh, function switch for this uh, UHF radio backup panel uh, to the guard position. And what this does is, again, uh, similarly to what this does, it auto-tunes the UHF guard frequency, which is 243.0, for both transmit and receive, and it disables the standalone uh, guard uh, receiver. All right, so now he's going to be calling, and this is what he's going to be calling uh, to you on. And again, all you have to do in your normal airplane is just take the uh, mode uh, knob for COM1 and, and put it in the guard position. All right, so incidentally, when he is in backup, this uh, guard position is disabled because you don't want to have reception on two different receivers this one when you're in backup and this one you know uh, when you're in upfront control so this uh, guard receiver is disabled whenever this selector CNI switch is in backup all right we'll put things back to normal here and I noticed that uh, what's odd to me is that all towers, ATC uh, facilities, approach controls and all, they monitor, uh, in this case, 243.0, which is the UHF guard frequency. But I found that uh, if you uh, are in the backup position on guard, you're broadcasting on 243.0. If you hit like T3, which is uh, declaring an emergency with tower, you don't get a response. So I think that's uh, probably could be modeled a little bit better. But anyway, that's the case. Um, all right, let me see if there's uh, anything else I want to say about this. No, I don't see anything else here. Um, I did mention that there's no backup for uh, VHF uh, communications, just for UHF. And if somebody wants you to set uh, 246.0 on your uh, backup control panel, you don't have to ask them whether it's UHF or VHF, because you can only set uh, UHF frequencies here. And UHF frequencies start with either the number 2 or the number 3. And you can kind of see that on this uh, it's called a A32T rotary switch here. It's got a, a position two and a position three. So uh, the first di digit for UHF could either be three or it could be uh, two. So if they ask you to uh, contact them on, for instance, 126.1, you know it's a VHF frequency because it uh, begins with the number one. All right, I think that's uh, what I wanted to explain about uh, UHF backup radio. I hope that helps and trip up.